Here's something else to realize. If you're going to put this paint on raw sheetrock, what you get is um, on raw sheetrock, you've got the mud, you've just sanded the mud, the sheetrock mud, and when you put the paint on, the paint, the first coat of paint is going to suck up into the mud and the, and the, uh, the sheetrock wallboard more so than if you were to put this on a wall that's already got paint on it. Do you follow what I'm saying here? That's why I like to put one coat of primer first on the wall because that coat of primer is going to soak up into the wall more so. Thus, when you put your finished paint on there after the primer, then it's going to go on it's not going to soak up as much. So if I was going to use this one coat uh, product that we just put on the wall, I would have a tendency to say it's going to work better on a wall that's already been painted rather than a raw sheetrock wall without any primer on it. Does that make sense? And the other thing to realize too is if you're going to put one coat, let's say your existing wall is this color here and you're going to put one coat to make it this color. Well this is not going to cover that in one coat because you're going to get some of this paint, some of the dark paint bleeding through this paint here, your finished paint. So you're going to have to have two coats of paint over this to get a full body paint look. If you got questions, I know I'm throwing a lot of information out to you. Um, play this video, play a couple of these videos back and think about it and, if, and when you get ready to do your paint job, go to your paint store and talk to the salesperson and uh, if you got any other questions uh, ask them or you can you can send me a comment on the video and I'll be more than happy to respond to you with what I think you need to do